Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use the distance formula to find the distance between two points. The distance formula is given by this formula in the blue box. D for distance is equal to the square root of the quantity of x minus 1 squared plus the quantity of y2 minus y1 squared where x1, y1, and x2, y2 are the two points that we're trying to find the distance between. Now let's say that we have x1 here and y1 here. And so there's the point x1, comma, y1. And let's say that you also have another point over at x2 and y up y2. And it's located right about there. So x2, y2. So you're trying to find this distance here. The way this works is using the Pythagorean theorem. So in the Pythagorean theorem, you know that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, where c is the hypotenuse to a right triangle. We don't have a C here, but we do have a D. And let's just call these other two sides A and B. So in other words, we have that D squared is equal to A plus A squared plus B squared. Or I can write it as D equals the square root of A squared plus B squared. Now what is that distance of A and B? So A if you look at the distance between x1 and x2, just subtracting x2 minus x1 will tell us that distance for a. And then for b, it's just this distance here between y2 and y1. So this quantity, we're going to substitute for the b in the equation. So my distance formula is just the square root of a squared which we are writing as x2 minus x1, and plus b squared, which we're writing as y2 minus y1. So hopefully this will help you remember the distance formula as you go through and try to find the distance between two points. Here's an example that we're going to use to find the distance between negative 3 and 12 and 1 to 14, 114. And what I've done is gone ahead and graphed this in a software program called GeoGebra. Look, there is A at negative 3, comma 12, and B is at 1, comma 14. I used my measuring tool on this program and found that the distance between A and B is 4.47. So hopefully when I apply the distance formula, I will get this same answer. So. Let's see what we've got here. Um, I want to identify x1, x2, y1, y2. So x1, y1 is going to be negative 3 and 12. 1, comma 14 will be the x2, y2 values. So my distance formula, and you can see it written up above to remind us, will be the square root of x1 minus x2, so that's negative 3 minus 1, quantity squared, plus y1 minus y2, that's going to be 12 minus 14, quantity squared. And all of that's underneath the square root. Let's simplify. So simplifying, we have to first attack what's inside the parentheses. So negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. And inside the other set of parentheses, 12 minus 14, we have negative 2. And that's what I've got so far. So continuing to simplify, negative 4 squared, we get 16, plus negative 2 squared, that's 4. So my distance, adding 16 and 4, is 20, so the square root of 20 is what I end up getting. Um, that doesn't look like 4.47 yet, but let's try to simplify this quantity. 
And depending on your teacher, they may accept it as a square root of 20. They may ask you to go to the calculator. Or they also might say, can you simplify this radical as much as possible? So the distance of the square root of 20, let me just show you how to simplify this radical. 20 is the same thing as 4 times 5. So the square root of 4 times the square root of the 5 is the same thing as the square root of 20. The square root of 4 is simply 2. So 2 times root 5 is probably the best way that I can write this answer. But remember, when I was in GeoGebra, I got 4.47. So I'm going to go to my calculator here, and I'm going to just type in 2 and then second square sign for the square root of 5. So 2 times the square root of 5. What does that equal? 4.47 approximately, a little more decimals after that. So we got the right answer then. This is approximately 4.47 when we went to the calculator. And so that's what GeoGebra told me the distance was between those two points approximately. So looks like we have the correct answer of 2 root 5. So that's how you use the distance formula to find the distance between two points. Now I have a try this on your own problem. Find the distance between 2 comma negative 8 and negative 4 comma 1. Good luck.